Hey guys, thank you for tuning back into my channel. My name is Veldog, and this is my kitchen, where I'll be teaching you how to make affordable restaurant quality foods, or better, from my home to yours. So stay tuned in, and let's get cooking. Okay guys, you can see on the chopping block, we got mild chunky salsa. And how to make the best homemade salsa in Veldog's kitchen. Okay guys, these are the ingredients that you're gonna to need to make that salsa. Need two green onion or a medium sized onion, half a medium sized onion I should say, depending on how much onion you like. You'll need a half a lemon, a half a lime or a whole, depending on what's your taste. You need two to four of these tomatoes, depending on how much you want in yours. Okay, I'm just keeping it real with you. You're gonna need two garden cloves cut up. This is approximately uh, three, so I'm gonna use um, two of those. You're gonna need a half a cup of cilantro, a couple of dashes of Tabasco sauce, some um, restaurant, um, let's say some coarse black pepper. <laughs> You're gonna need some um, sea salt. Kosher salt, right? All right, then over here, I have an eighth of a cup of um, red wine vinegar. I don't know why it's messed up. Red wine vinegar, because I was going to use some vinegar. I changed my mind on that, all right? All right, guys, let's jump into it in a minute. All right, let me put this to the side, and I will be using my processor, my food processor. Alright, first thing first, we're just going to go ahead and cut this in fours. Just like that. These are beef tomatoes. They're a little bit expensive, but they hold their shapes a little bit better. So, remember that. We're going to the store. So, with that, take these um, garden onions and just. I got them perfect and nothing like that because I'm going to put it in the process. Okay. Watch the knuckles. You don't want to go too fast. Alright, that's that. I'm going to just slide this over here too because all this thing get mixed up. Alright. Since I don't have a stench cord in here, I'm gonna have to take you guys to the kitchen when I uh, do the process. I'm gonna put my uh, cilantro in there as well. Matter of fact, I could have just put it in the uh, food processor. That probably made more sense for it. Since I gotta transfer it over there anyways. Alright, uh, let's see if I can get that out of there. If you want to get jiggy because I'm about to do it, but I said no, nah, I'll save that for another time for you guys. I uh, could have like, chopped up some bell peppers, something like that. I like to sometimes put like pineapple in mine. This time I didn't do it, but I'll show you guys another recipe on that. So let me get some of these out of there. That's about enough of that. Put some pepper in there. Um, like a half a teaspoon, some salt, that's a half a teaspoon, just like that. Now, we're going to do that to taste. We got lemon, put it in the squeezer. If you don't have a squeezer, do you got you, um, lemon press or Squeezer or whatever you want to call it. You guys can just use your hands. I just show you like this with my hand. 
Now, if you don't want them seeds to fall in there, some people just squeeze them like up top like this, okay? So I don't want the seeds to die. So you can just squeeze it like this. really don't know. I want to show you so much stuff and so many skills and different things. It's just hard to do it right now because I'm trying to get done with this but um oh my goodness. Okay this limp this line is kind of old because I like mine sometimes to get old like this so it's um it's a little bit more bitter. You ever see mine like that? Don't think that it's just oh, that nigga using the old one. He's just using the old one. <laughs> nah, I do that intentionally. Okay, that's that. Then I'm gonna just throw this in there. Little wine vinegar. Give a couple of shakes of these in there. Tabasco. One, two, three, four. That's it. All right, take you guys over there in a minute. Okay, guys, I am back. And uh, just lock that in there. Let me see you put it on low because we don't want to do like a water substance. So then we'll just post it. back in there. Let's see if I can push this down there. Mmm, it smells good. Super good. Yes, I want all this chocolate. Oh yeah. Let me wash this. Unbelievable. OMG. That is awesome. Put that fan back on there. Yeah. Hey guys, I think that's it. That's all we're going to do. Super delicious. There's your salsa. One on one. Alright. So we're going to go ahead and wrap this up. Take you guys back over there and wrap it up. See you guys in a minute. Okay guys, there it is. The best homemade salsa. Fail Dolls Kitchen. So please give me a like, a share, and subscribe to the channel. And make sure you please hit that bell so you too can be notified every time I upload another delicious recipe. So um Saying that to say this, I'll see you guys next time in Veldahl's Kitchen. Love you guys in a minute.